a copy of Pokemon Crystal here, Game Boy Color. Uh, it's not booting up. It shows the uh, the Nintendo and the Game Boy splash screen, and then it uh, just goes to a blank screen. On a lot of Game Boy games, I found that uh, just reflowing these chips will uh, will do the trick. A lot of times, you just get some tin whiskers or uh, you know, pads lift, whatever. You got kind of a cold joint at the factory, and uh, so I'm gonna try that. Got the iron heating up now, and I'm hoping this can be a uh, easy repair. This game has become quite valuable, actually. It's going for about 125 bucks right now. So if I can get it working, that'd be great. Alright, so after reflowing the uh, chips to no avail there, I did uh, go ahead and check all the joints after reflowing. Uh, There's a couple that didn't look so good necessarily after the first time. Um, but still to no avail. Actually, mysteriously seemed to get worse. Uh, it used to uh, just boot the Game Boy logo and the Nintendo logo, and the Nintendo logo was just a little corrupted, and uh, now the Nintendo logo is almost completely corrupted. So that's a little mysterious. However, uh, upon closer inspection, since none of that worked, I did find that there is definitely a broken trace. Uh, from there to there is supposed to be connected, and it's not. So I'm going to do just a little bodge wire from that trace. This trace to here is good. And then, thank you, thank you, multimeter. Appreciate your input. Um, so if I do just a bodge wire from there to there, that should uh, remake the connection. This thing may be too far gone. Having that connection broken and getting powered up repeatedly may have may have dickered it per permanently. But that's definitely a definite broken trace, and I'm definitely gonna try it. That is the sound of it working, my friends. Sure enough, it was that little case. So yeah, it uh, ended up being the trace between, it's actually the third pin on the left here, and the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ninth pin here. So pin three, again, I don't know if that's actually proper nomenclature, but pin three and pin nine here via this trace uh, on the back side here. It's kind of right in the center of the cartridge. I guess that's where it gets the most rub or something like that. Yeah, I guess it just so happened that trace was deteriorating even more as, as I was cleaning it the first time. And that's why it got worse. Uh, but sure enough, just replacing that trace with a bodge wire fixed it. So... That's a big thumbs up. I'm not much of a Pokemon man myself, so this one is going to be a nice, uh, nice little flipperoo or trade. Got another Pokemon crystal here. Not working. Contacts don't look too bad. See major wear on the circuit board, really. I just wiped these out with alcohol thus far. I'm gonna give them a go with Brasso, then try it again before I start doing anything silly. You having a pretty good run up until there? Yeah, I haven't got hit. I just finished the third level. Yeah. Well, I was trying to change the camera angle to get the ATT. And I pressed the tilt cable because I fucking didn't know what button it was. <laughs> Ah, uh, Chaya. 
That's good. Oh, dude, this is this one's not even broken. I'm disappointed. Yeah, it's to work now. It uh, it might just have some some garbage under the pad there. Yeah. Because this has little contacts. I can clean it for you if you want. Easy. Replace the battery. I think I got. I got those in stock here. A monster. Check it out. I wear them out. <laughs> All of them. All of them. All the things. All the things. When I use. 64 just wasn't meant for me. I mean, <laughs> it's just too. No あれはポケモンクリスタルいやいやあのスイクあんの文字か未だ知られざる幾多の謎あの少年